You know, I had to travel a good bit here. It is... I still have a thing against, you know, having to go across this long way, but I guess that's supposed to be a thing where, you know, you're going across the entire length of the city, surely you want to do some of these side missions, yeah? I mean, you've got time, and I'm like, no, I still don't really want to. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, hey, Ashlyn, how you doing? Who knows what Arrow will try to do next with that dark ship? We've got to take him out. And I suppose you know how we can take him. We have a plan, but it's risky. Oh, of course! It couldn't be easy. No! And I'm sure we're on the short list to head up the mission, huh? No, this one's tricky. I'm giving it to Torn and Jinx. What? I suppose you don't think we're good enough, huh? You don't think we can do it? Dax. May I remind you that this team of Daxter, Jack, and Daxter have taken on just about every scary thing this world can throw at us for three, count them, three adventures. Daxter. This is an outrage, Jack. We're the heroes. We're the ones on cereal boxes, for God's sake. And I'm about to release my own line of sports shoes. I've got a contract. You're on the mission. Your job is to cover Torn and Jinx in a vehicle filled with explosives. Escort them to the metalhead section, and together you'll blow open the nest. Oh. Well. Why didn't you say so in the first place? I do agree with Dax. She made it sound like we weren't on the mission we anyways. Go. Oh. Take them out. What am I doing? Oh no. Hold our one to auto fire. Sure, I suppose. Wait. Is he our friend? Because I just shot the shit out of him. <laughs> Oops. It'll live. Did I even hurt him? Okay, I'm gonna assume I can hurt him, so I shouldn't. Oh gosh. I didn't expect this. this see, this is why there needs to be like an opening cutscene. Oh, hold up. Let me just adjust my fucking seating position because like I wasn't prepared for this. But this is where you know you put in a cutscene, you show them getting on their car, uh, on their rides, and you go, okay, this red vehicle is not the enemy. And we're telling you this because literally almost every single person, every single thing that's been metallic and red in this game has been an enemy. So I shot the shit out of them at first. But I did realize it eventually. Oh! No, please don't try to kill my friend. We need him alive! To put down three barrels of explosives across the city. Oh, hey, look, and there's Sig! Mean Sig, tearing things up, as always. Oh, fuck. Stop getting in the way! It's not exactly an escort if you're ahead of us! <laughs> Like, let us go through the area, clear out all the people, rather than you being the first one, dumbass. Oh, boy. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think Jinx is gonna die. But I should have a little bit more faith. No! He's gonna die. <laughs> Jinx is totally dead. Get away from here! Okay, we're doing some escorts, figuring things out. I assume someone's gonna come up. Yep, yeah, there you go. What is going on? Oh, battle bot. Let's see if I can kill him in time. Ah, look at that. And all the missiles are gone. Well, we can't see Jinx. Jinx, you might want to worry. Wow, these are some powerful guns. The fucking battle bot just go out within a second. We should have used this thing more often in the war. I'm assuming there's gonna be enemies up here. No, oh, up there. Shit. Wow. Jinx may just be able to survive, depending on his placement. Oh yeah. That was lucky, cause he almost ran right into that explosion fest. I hear missiles, oh no! How come they can have decent lock-on missiles? And we had to like, have Daxer run along on the other ones. Jesus. Oh no! Oh my god, he is so close to death. I really just honestly wouldn't be surprised if, you know, he got hit. Uh-oh. Alright, I'm gonna shoot the one shooting him because that's probably the better idea. The one shooting at us? Ah, we got help. We can take it. Oh no, battle plot in his way!
this needs to stop happening. This thing where just shit comes out from the fucking side of the screen. Where it's too late for me to react because of it. I'll, uh, I'll take some blame. I did shoot the shit out of Jinx. <laughs> right? If it wasn't for me, he'd have a slight bit of health left. My god, where do those even fucking come from? Jesus, man! He's dead. Look at that. Alright. And how far back is he gonna put me? Oh, that's not that bad! Wow! With full health, too! That is... That is suspiciously merciful, Naughty Dogs! <laughs> you know, I was expecting to jump back at least a good while. I wasn't... I had some slight cynicism. I was kind of thinking, yeah, it's gonna make me go all the way back to the beginning, but... I guess not. We're doing it! <laughs> He's not dying! Because we don't have to worry about his health anymore! It's... Kinda cheaty. But whatever, it had to be done. Not that I died on purpose, I was wanting him to live. Oh boy! Ah, they're shooting shit at me. <laughs> at least I'm killing a good amount of them. Although the more they fly around this area, the more they're trying to entice me to those precursor orbs. When the hell am I gonna be going up there anyways? So wait, where the hell are we going? Why didn't we just take a, like, a right turn earlier? You know, you deserve that. You deserve to get smacked up a bit. Making us go around the place. Oh, but there's a couple enemies here. Well, there's always gonna be a couple enemies around here. Nice. Man, we are going through the entire fucking city. At least we got a turret. That's always fun. I don't even know what these monsters are trying to attack more. I mean, I'm assuming they're, met they're metalheads, obviously, but just like, have they ever attacked us? Or are they only here specifically to jump on his vehicle and be big? I don't ever remember getting attacked by something huge like that. At least not a metalhead. But there have been four-legged ones. So maybe they're just them. And perspective is making a bitch. Oh boy. That wouldn't even do anything. Is it because I shot him? I don't know. Oh, he jumped back towards me. Wow, that's scary. All right. He jumped on me. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, they hurt now. Move and groove, Chili Pepper. All right, it's payback time. You ready to rock, Dax? You mean go in that place? Uh, Jack, maybe I'll stay here and uh, protect Sig. <laughs> no, Sig doesn't need it. Trust me. Supernova. Wow, <laughs> my eyes! Okay, that was not kidding. <laughs> wow. Uh, it'd be cool if they actually gave me like a whole bunch of ammo for my uh, my purple weapons. So that way they're like, yeah, we know, we know. You're gonna try it out and you're gonna blind your eyes. Curiosity sometimes kills the jack. After all. My god. The metalheads were hiding darkness in here? I mean, do the metalheads... I guess the metalheads would work with the dark makers. All of them are dicks. Everyone's a dick. Oh! But not this platform! This platform's a friend! No, it's not! It brought evil! Oh, no! I thought I was gonna fall. Hey! I didn't notice this until now, but apparently I'm getting more health! That's good! Stop! I just wanna go up! I don't need your shenanigans! And I might as well heal. But now I've got, I guess, full armor. It goes all the way around my health bar. Never noticed that until now. <laughs> I just assumed I always had, like, large chunks of health. I guess next we're going to need armor for Jack. <laughs> just put him in a tiny little rock suit and hope that he can still move on. Hell, even give him, like, a little rock or a little hook clamp. So he can hook onto my shoulders a little bit. 
Better. Ew, it touched me! Oh my god, that is really fucking gross! Oh no! And I got shot, to make things worse. I'm leaving. You can just, I don't know, give me ammo, that'd be great. So I can continue shooting everybody. I'm, I'm gone. We'll use my other weapon! Possibly? What happened? Oh! Okay, I couldn't move! Alright, it scared me for a second there. I'm like, no! Did I activate a cutscene and it glitched? Okay, what am I... I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna assume I shoot everything. Hello? Oh, right! I can fly! Sorry. We haven't done <laughs> in a good bit, so I completely forgot. You know, this is a good point. I'm just gonna fly away! You can't touch me! I'm a beautiful butterfly! Who can shoot out nukes! Little tiny mini nukes! Oh, I wish I could fly further. Oh boy. No! No! That is bullshit! I deserve it. Alright. Final walk on foot. Kill all the enemies. Come on! I'm shooting your shield! Damn it! Well, at least I showed him what's up. <laughs> right? Took out a shield and then shot him. And this time I shot him, then punched him. Which I think is a nice correlation. I don't really think about that. Or not. It was a happy number, you know. A number that would inspire many good luck. What in the hell is this guy? Oh! It's the thing that split apart earlier. Those weird ass things that were being used against us. By the robot! In Vigor! I just realized that. Huh. Very interesting, Vigor. I wonder where he is after all. Whoa. I hope I can walk on this. Okay. I don't know. It was purple. Alright, and I was like, do I have to be dark form to walk across it? Or, and, uh, or what? Because if I was a game dev, I'd do that. I'd be like, no. This path is reserved only for those of the light. And then I'd make another one blue and be like, this one's for the light people. And it wouldn't be anything like a morality system, it'd just be like, alright, use your dark form here. For no real other reason to be like, oh, look at this puzzle. You guys are dicks, I'm healing. There goes all my light! Oh. He's still alive, jeez. What a dick. Ah, but the platform has lowered for us. Just in time for an invisible enemy to spawn on top of it. Right? No, nothing. Good, huh? I'm happy about this. You know what I haven't used much? My grenade launcher. Or my RPG. It's kind of weird, right? It's this thing that uses up 10 ammo at a time. And I treat it like it's more of a speciality weapon, but I guess I can just use it on these guys. Ah, ah, ah! You have to excuse yourself from this party. No one likes you. That's about it. <laughs> if you weren't such an asshole, maybe you'd be allowed to stay. You and your entire friends, yes, go away! You know what? I'm gonna bounce a shot around. Say little guys like that. You can hear them die and be completely dissatisfied with what I've done to them. And that's okay. Because I'm gonna go Dark Jack. And we're gonna beat some ass! Hey, boys! Enjoy some dark energy! Ah! Now, how am I going to. Well, I guess I'll just shoot out both shots. And then I'll convert myself back. Uh, how about 
Everybody levitate! Oh my god, it affects the flying ones. That's hilarious. <laughs> that was awesome. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, hello. You weren't even apparently a physical thing beforehand. It like just came up and then you know became opaque. Like I exist. Yes. Uh oh. Do friends come to see me off? I'd love to stay in chat, but I have an appointment with the most powerful beings in the universe. You're through, metal monkey! Don't make me come over there and sick jack on you! You're too late. I've already awakened the Dark Mega ship. When I come back, I will be wielding the very power of the precursors. I'll see you boys soon. Can we jump in after that him? That's cool. It's amazing. It's reacting to the dark stuff. Ah, it's gonna blow! What? Let's get out of here! Oh, all right! <laughs> Well, that was an awkward confrontation. <laughs> it's like villains are just chums who are dicks, but they you know, you know them. He's like, "Hey, stop being a dick." No. All right, I'll get you next time, I guess. Stop being a dick, though. Well, they finally realized that the dark and light eco crystals mean something. Yeah, look at that. We have a thing where we have to go meet Onan. It's a big oh, it's not a big attack. That you're whining. You're always getting attacked as soon as the mission's done. And then we come back and everything's clear. Sometimes, generally. But I'm going to Onan. So she can tell me about the crystals. And then she'll be like, oh, you can power up yourself by using these. And you, and, well, they're going to side mission. Head to the desert, find more crystals or something. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> but man, it is so much easier to go through these places when there are hundreds of people blocking the way. Now there's only a couple. I don't know why. I don't know why they're flying through here in the middle of a war. <laughs> but they've got busy work to do. You know? Sometimes seeing other people, and that's about it. It's weird, honestly. Ah. Onan's not all that incredibly far. Beforehand, she was like at the Bazaar District, but now she's just kind of around the corner in the old neighborhood. Does she still have a tent, though? She does. She fucking moved her tent. That's funny. Jack, we are in serious trouble. Onan says there are strange forces at work. Fate has been twisted by something more powerful than anything she has ever seen in her many years. <laughs> Something now awake, deep in the catacombs. Let me guess. You blowhards want us to go down there, correct? The best access to the catacombs is on the metalhead side of the city. Sometimes, I really hate you guys. Onan says she sees your fate turning black with uncertainty. Onan says it will be very dangerous indeed. Onan says Pecker will escort you to the catacombs and... What? What did you say? You will be Onan's eyes and Jack's wisdom. You must do this. Ah, okay, fine. But I am gone the moment that things get sticky. You two, get to the catacomb entrance and take care of business. I'll meet you there when the coast is clear. Uh, <laughs> go to the catacombs and kill everybody, and then after everyone's dead, I'll come. That guy's a little bit of a jerk, but I understand where he's coming from. It's not like he's a warrior covered in armor and strapped, you know, side to side with guns. Uh, but how do I get over there? Do I go through the top area? Ah. Okay, yeah. It's gonna take me a bit, though.